Man, oh man, oh man, 2016 is off to a roaring start. Korean nuke, Saudi Iran tensions, oil price collapse with all the sovereign debt impact, Puerto Rico debt default, Putin, stock market drops, whoo! Maybe the world is going crazy, but today we have our lives to live right here at home. Coach is planning on seeing 2017 with all of you. Today we do five to thrive as we prepare for the new year. Get today's handout at myvalutree.com under star power and see you here after weather and sports. You know, it's good to be here this morning, starting the year off together, planning for the future. Saturday morning coaching has arrived and today we focus on five to thrive. Five affirmations to get your mind right for the new year. Five affirmations to get your mind focused. Five affirmations that will drive goodness into your life. Coach created these just for you. And you have already demonstrated your desire to thrive by being here and ready on a Saturday morning. Let's dig in. The formula for today is simple. Positive affirmations help drive a positive attitude, which helps drive a positive year. So coach, what's an affirmation? It's a declaration of something that's true, a pronouncement. The affirmations for 2016 are for you and you alone. You never have to share these with anyone. It is the self-talk inside your head. Remember, positive affirmations, positive attitude, positive year. Enough, coach, what are they? Here they are. And remember, get them at myvalutree.com under star power. One, the world is a better place because I am in it. Two, I'm not driven by feelings. I am driven by a judicious mix of thinking and empathy. Three, I say no and let go of that which saps my energy. Four, I invest myself in being a contribution to those around me. Five, I stay relevant by being curious, learning, and changing. Coach knows it's always nice to have someone else believe in you, but do you? I truly hope you believe the world is a better place because of you, right in your own little corner of the world. You are the one to be the parent to your children. You are the one to be the child to your parent. No one else fills these roles. You are the one to be the most special person in your love's life. You are the one to deliver great customer service today. You are uniquely qualified to bring your special character to the world, be it nurse, doctor, electrician, or student. Only you can fulfill your role. And if you choose to make the world better because of it, wouldn't that be great? What would the opposite affirmation be? The world would be better off without me in it? What a painful place to live. If this thought is anywhere close to your mind, it's time to escort it out. You are needed. You are unique. We need you to be with us on this journey. Coach loves turning these affirmations into outcomes for the year. What can you specifically do to make your world a better place this year? Let your child know they are important to you by attending their event or giving them an hour of homework help. Honor your parent by showing up for their birthday. Give time to your family and friends. It is your life you are choosing to invest in them. Maybe your profession can be better because of you. You know, Ray, when we talk with Dr. Fitchman, he is clear that the world is better because of the eye surgery procedures he developed. Each one of us can make our world better through positive daily interactions. What would be a good outcome for you in 2016? The second affirmation says, I am not driven by feelings. Wouldn't it be nice to get through the year without being emotionally whipsawed? The outcome here is to add a little control to your life and not be a victim of your feelings. That's why we need to add some logic to our thoughts and awareness of other people. This affirmation encourages us to improve our emotional and social intelligence. Emotional intelligence is about my self-awareness and self-regulation. Social intelligence is about my interaction with groups. Maybe a good outcome this year is to get on top of your anger. If we were driven by the opposite affirmation, it would be, I am driven by my feelings. Without adding a little logic or thought to your daily experiences, without a filter, 
you would be a basket case by the year's end. Why go through it? If you want a picture of being driven totally by emotions, watch a two or three year old. I only do what makes me happy and I fall apart when I don't get my way. Today's second affirmation helps us grow up. Number three, I say no and let go of that which saps my energy. Talking with my sister-in-law on New Year's Day, it is clear her adult children are sucking the very life out of her. At a time when life could be opening up, the kids are experts at outsourcing their problems to the parents, and they let them. The daily calls rehashing problems sucks the air out of their lives. It's time to say no and not feel guilty letting the kids go to deal with their own issues. Jean Jean the Farm Queen would tell us that on fruit trees we call them sappers. Shoots that pop out on a branch and steal the energy from the fruit. What's sapping your limited life energy from you? Will you say no to it this year? When you do, it opens up. A way for affirmation for I invest myself in being a contribution to those around me. Contribution means I am a value add to those around me. I am giving of myself in order to help you improve. Can you imagine how wonderful this year would be if all of us listening this morning decided to do one thing to help improve the life of a person around us? If you don't have a clue where to begin, call United Ways 211 and offer to help. We close with affirmation five. I stay relevant by being curious, learning, and changing. What's the alternative? I become irrelevant to my family and job because I stop learning? How sad to become a troglodyte. Watch the world pass you by and turn into a Luddite. Coach believes we can make 2016 a fantastic year when we embrace the question, how can we improve this? learning something new, and make the change. Five to thrive, you bet. We are going to have a great year in spite of world events. These are our days. I'm Coach Davis.